Hello YouTube, Total Henry here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you my RISD pre-college uh, sketchbook. This is my second sketchbook. As you can see here, here are the dates for when I was using this. Um, now, as I said, this is part two. This is the second sketchbook that I have from this uh, RISD pre-college, so I will have a link in the description or on the screen somewhere for part one. And part one at the beginning of the video also explains what RISD pre-college is if you guys don't know. And I'm just going to start the, this video and I'm going to try to keep this fast because I know these can get a little bit long. Um, but this first page here are some sketches for, um, I was trying to design a character for a comic book class. I need a female character and I'm not good at drawing female characters so I was trying to come up with something. Um, then I came up with that design that I, I don't know, I liked it at the time, but as I look back on it, I didn't, I didn't think it looked that, that good. Um, I eventually went and, and changed, and changed it. So this page right here is for a project that I, a group project that I did. It was sort of like an art history project. This was supposed to be a... Japanese palanquins, one of those um, things you always see rich people have in movies where it was like a box that had like a seat in it and people would carry it on their shoulders like you would have four guys like carrying it and like the rich noble person would, would sit in there. Um, so this this was for uh, a project where we were, my group, we were taking art from various time periods in various countries and combine them into one thing. So we have, I chose this Japanese palanquin, someone chose this sort of beetle, gold beetle from, I forget where, Egypt or something. Another person chose like this gold pin and we were like trying to combine them together so I was just sketching a bunch of stuff out. Um, the, these are more sketches from that project. Um, here I was trying to sketch what like it, I guess what it would look like to be in one of those boxes and this was um, sort of where all the um, uh, Things were from like we had a, a something from Japan as I said the palanquin I think the beetle was from Egypt. We had a pin from like Rome or whatever um, But y y you can see that there. I don't really remember the, the project that much um, da, da, da. I'm not showing it, showing all the pages in here just because there are some things I'm not showing. These are sketches for a project about fear. Our teacher said create something about like a fear you have. So this, I think this was a sketch about driving. I want to do a comic book thing. So these are panels about driving. I think they're about just, I think this is like the edge of a cliff and you can see there's sort of a cliff and there's a car right, right there. And then this is from in, inside the car and it's going towards the cliff. And this might be, I think, a person about to get hit by a, a car or something. Um, so I know some of these sketches are probably hard to see. Um, I don't exactly remember what this one was. Maybe something about boat or being trapped and looks like being trapped in the bird cage. This one is like being like alone in the woods this this bot bottom one like i tried to sketch trees and a person like crouching down and they're upset um these sketches are mainly supposed to help me so this one as you can see this was a comic about being homesick um this might not mean a lot to a lot of you but this was a personal experience that i that i went went through so this does mean a lot a lot to me um Makes me a little bit sad to think about it. Wasn't fun being homesick. This was uh, driving again. I think um, the previous pages that I showed for driving were supposed to be single illustrations. So this is now I decide, well, I want to make a comic. Um, so I guess this is a person being hit by a car when they go out to get... Oh, I think I know what this is. Like, I think a person needs to go shopping. But, oh, I'm there's but it's raining, they're scared of driving, so they decide, you know what, I'm just going to walk in the rain to go go to the, the store. Which is me, I don't like driving, I don't even have my driver's license, so I'm like, I'd rather walk in the rain than drive a car. This is another idea for the homesick, just a single panel of a person on the phone saying, crying, saying I want to go home. This is 
fire. I guess this is the fear of getting burned, which is I think is a fear we all share. It's supposed to be in like a the first panels are for like a chemistry lab where you have to light a Bunsen burner and then you accidentally catch on fire. Here's more homesick. I eventually went with this one. Um, and these are just diff different panels. I forget exactly what the, the numbers mean. I think that's referring to a previous page. Mm, da, da, da. So this is a character that I was creating for my um, uh, comic book class around the same time that I was doing the um, fear project. Um, so yeah, this was supposed to be the bad guy. I do kind of like this char character design. These are some more characters for that uh, comic. Um, it's supposed to be about m m magicians. And I gave, I tried to come up with some sort of like badge or emblem they could all, they could all wear. These are pretty generic characters. This is just a sketch of a backpack. Not much to talk about on this page. Okay, here are some interesting things. These are sketches I did at a museum. This one's a Greek figure. You can read that right there. And then the other one is a male torso from a painting. I think those came out okay. This is a study of a painting. I forget which one. I think it's uh, Saint Sebastian G-U-I-D-O-R-E-N-I, -E that's the artist, and it's an oil painting. I think it came out alright. And then over here, these are woodblock carving prints. I forget the uh, the artist who did this. I wrote it down, but I'm too lazy to find it. So just a bunch of cranes. And then this one is a sketch, another woodblock Japanese print by uh, the famous artist Hokusai. He did the picture of the gigantic wave, the great wave, that I know everyone has seen, even if you don't recognize the artist's name or recognize the... Um, the artist's name or the title of the piece, I'm sure you've you've seen it. I really like the way those came out. I think I forget where I drew this this from. I forget wh what manga I was inspired to draw this from. I want to say Yomushi Petal, but I, that could just be way off. I kind of like it, even though it does it's not anatomy or anatomically correct. I don't know why. So this is a image I did of some cyclists. I kind of like this one, even though the, it's clear that the details aren't uh, fully fleshed out. Um, it's clear I didn't spend a lot of, a lot of time on it, but I like. Um, I, don't know, I just feel like even with the rough lines, I still feel like I captured the energy and the um, the. I guess I want to say emotion, but I don't know how much emotion there is in there. I, f I feel you do get a sense that this guy in the back is tired and, and, and this guy is like determined and he's determined to r race on and leave the other guy behind who's struggling to keep up. Um, I don't know. I like it. Yeah, so this sort of marks the end of my um, RISD pre-college. The rest of the sketchbook is just sketches that I did um, o over the summer. Um, afterwards, this is my brother lying on on a bed. These are some sketches. This was supposed to be my mom petting my dog like she was reading a book in a chair. My dog was sitting right there. Except the dog looks like a wolf, so that didn't come out so well. Then I tried to sketch my dog again, and I threw my hand in there. I tried to sketch my hand. These didn't come come out that well. Here are some more sketches, just people sitting in the chairs, my foot, and I guess someone leaned against their hand. It's kind of fun to do sketches like this. Here, here's one I think came out 
okay. This is a uh, this is a family reunion. I don't even remember who, who this was. Um, I remember that um, as I was drawing this guy and I was drawing him without his his permission or like he didn't know I, I was sketching him. Some person came up behind me and said and called out to this guy and said I forget, I forget his name. He said, "Hey, Henry, Henry's drawing you," and and it's like. And the guy's like, does, it ha does he have a big gut belly or something? He's like, yes, he does. See, that's you. And it was supposed to be a joke because he was kind of fat. But <laughs> I don't think that joke came across in the video just now. This is a drawing I did of Sailor Moon. I think it's okay. More sketches. I like the folds of the sweatshirt more. I like drawn folds. That's always fun. There's not too many great pieces in this sketchbook. Not too many things I'm super proud of. I don't know what this was. Just maybe practicing shading and cross-hatching. I kind of like this sphere at the top. It probably could be worked a little bit more. I think the values right here by the light should be a little bit lighter. I think it's a little bit too dark. kind of a different manga face. It's like I spent so much time and energy on the face and then when I got to the body I'm just like, Wah! no one cares about the body. This was a sketch I did during class at school. And I think I showed it to the kid I was um, sketching and for some, I forget if he wanted me to do it or whether I decided to do it I decided to put swords on his back for some bizarre reason and he, yeah that is a computer he was on his computer during class okay these are just a bunch of random doodles I like the one with the guy in the mask it reminds me of um V for Vendetta Some more sketches. This is a character that I created. It's alright. It's not too bad. I'm running out of commentary. I'm running out of things to say. This is a rock. More shading practice, I guess. Why there's a dark value over here when all the dark values are over here, I don't know. I don't I can't tell you why. This was probably something else I drew, drew in class. This is the an idea, or the idea was that the wanted poster is him, and he's hiding out right behind his wanted poster. I like the wanted poster. I think that's the best part of this whole whole drawing. Tried to draw some garbage bag or garbage bags in the back. So. Uh, more sketches. I like the guy at the top of the headband. That, that's kind of cool. Uh, okay, so this top one was, I think, from like a National Geographic magazine. It had some an article on like King Tut and like, oh, that would be super cool to draw. But I didn't finish it. And nothing much to say about the bottom stuff. Uh, drawings I did in pen. I don't know. I kind of I kind of like these for I'm not sure why. I kind of like the idea of like he doesn't have eyes and like superpowers and energy and stuff like that. This is one that looks like I spent some more time on I inked. I think the cross hatching under his neck was a little bit extreme. It looks like he's wearing like a scarf or has some weird neck beard. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, th this is one. Um, this is another cycling one that I made. Doesn't have a lot of detail. Like, I feel like I got really lazy when it came to the body, but I, I do like this a lot. I like the expression. I feel like I captured the intensity there. I like the bike helmet. Though I feel like it could be a little... It could be tweaked a little bit. Um... Looks like I got really lazy when it came to the handlebars and the, um, yeah, the handlebars look disgusting. But I don't know, I, I, I like it and I like, um, I like that I, uh, I sort of like the lack of detail in the background. Um, I don't know, maybe I should have added a little more 
detail to the other other riders behind him. I'm trying to remember if this was this was definitely based off a of photo. I'm trying to remember who the rider was. This is supposed to be a character looking up, so you're looking. I guess the character is looking up like this, um, but it doesn't really look like that. It looks like he just has a super long neck. And that is it for the sketchbook. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys liked seeing my uh, art, my, my sketches, and subscribe for more sketchbooks and for other art content. Thank you.